Hello people, um, I just finished my first year of college in France and I cannot be freaking happier. I'm, I feel like a dog when he's going to the park to walk. That, that's how I feel. I feel great, I feel energetic, I feel happy. I feel really freaking happy. I was so freak. I don't know why I was like so fucking nervous and stressed and um all of these bad things that you know all of these things and now i feel just such a relief such a sense of peace interior peace i feel so freaking good i feel like i can do anything right now i feel like i don't have to freaking end classes at 8 p.m and you know that that, that was not nice but that was no good and then, you know, a bunch of exams. I had five exams in three days and five, like, tough-ass exams. Like, not nice exams. Like, law and well, economics, decent. But, you know, like, law, 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 law was that. It was, like, ah, and accounting and blah, blah, accounting. It was really freaking hard, but I studied a lot. Probably the one I studied the most, and what else did I have? Statistics, that I shat my pants, I did, and did really bad, even though I was really good. And because it was the first one, so I was just so nervous. And what else did I had? And like a managerial functions, which is you know, it's talking about management and stuff like that. But now, who cares? Who cares? All that is gone. Now I'm happy. I'm a happy human being. I'm, I'm going to have some really good vacations. I will stay here probably for a month. Because I need to wait for the results. If I approve the year directly, it will be a freaking amazing. If I don't approve the year directly, which is possible, I think it will not happen, but it's possible. So you have to do like another round of exams in June. It's like summer camp, summer school. I don't, I don't like, I don't want to go to some freaking summer school. I want to freaking be in the bitch. I don't want to be in summer school, but you know, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible, you never know. You never know, probably, what happens if in one law exam, I think I did great, and then I freaking put, like, you know, drawing articles of the civil code, and, and a teacher sees it, and she's like, ah, you're bad, don't do that, and she gives me a zero. You never know. You never know. You never know. I think I did well, but you never know until you know, and... Who cares? Who cares? I'm just happy. Uh, I feel, feel such a relief. <sighs> I would say even I learned more. I, I'm not French, but I, I'm living in France. Like I'm studying in France. I learned more out of my first college year of just living in France for a full year than out of all the college classes together. And multiplied by three, probably. Living in France alone, as in 18, and then I turned 19. Right now, I'm 19. Yeah, 20s are coming. At that, that feels... That's just... That's, yeah. That's, that's rubbing me. That's stuck into me in my ear. And in the lonely night. 20s are coming, dude. You gotta do something. If not, you're gonna die. And you're not gonna do shit, and that's no good. And... <laughs> well, yeah, 20 are Cup... Well, living in France has taught me a lot of things. It made me... On the social level, I went down. I went so down, because in home I was, I was high. I was really loved. I was really likable. People knew me. It was amazing. And I came here and nobody knew me, nobody gave a shit, nobody cared. 
and at the beginning classes were harder for me because they were in French and I've never had freaking French classes so that was really hard but the second semester I picked up became a bit of a nerd I, I would say I didn't go out once in the second semester not even freaking once that was horrible I feel like a nerd I lived in the library for like a freaking four months it was horrible I feel like nerd, I didn't exercise, I was just eating food to get by and studying like a crazy monkey and memorizing everything and like after school I didn't go out, I just went to the library straight in until they closed like at 8 p.m. and ah, well pro no, well this last week they closed at 9 p.m. so I just stay there until 9 p.m. Ah, yeah, I, and then the, the week of exams came and I just couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep, nothing. I went from sleeping eight hours to sleeping freaking three or four hours. Why? Because I just couldn't, out of the freaking stress and the bunch of things and... Uh, the ah, I'm thinking about the exam. Hey, why am I sleeping? I should be studying, not even sleep. And that ah, all of those voices in my head they didn't let me sleep. What I should had sleep, slept. But at the end of the day, I did well. That's all that matters. Nothing else matters. And I met. I think it's, I learned like more of psychology than of business in this like semester, well this year. I learned a lot about like human beings and interactions and um, how, their, how they like structures and their face, facial structures tells me about them and like how to kind of read people in a way. So as soon as because I met a lot of new people and a lot of new different people to the ones I'm happy I'm like normally interacting with. So it was it helped me to like recognize how to kind of read people. Like okay, him by the way he acts, he seems really introverted. Okay, him, by the way, he pays attention in class, by the way, he makes questions, he seems really freaking smart. Okay, him, by the way, he, her, by the way, blah, 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 she seems like a party animal, like, I kind of, it thought me through how to read people, because I had to read people in order to survive, because if I didn't read people, I would have, well, probably, yeah, survived, yes, but, like, not... Like it would have been more difficult socially interacting with. That I I learned a lot about that during this semester and how vile how valuable if you lived in a house and you had a room and somebody washed your clothes, like your parents washed your clothes, just that, just that. It's super valuable. Just having your parents and a house. A freaking house it's just so freaking valuable right now I've been living in apartments that are really small that the kitchen it's like this it has like two discs to cook that's it nothing else just two freaking discs nobody washed me shit nobody cooked me nothing I had to do everything and <laughs> Like, I'm in France, so Uber Eats, it's super expensive. Like, restaurants in France are so freaking expensive. So freaking expensive. So I couldn't just order Uber Eats whenever I wanted. I had to, like... And I had to use money. For the first time in my life, I had a budget. Each month, you had this budget. You cannot go over the line. Use it as you please, but you cannot go over this amount per month. And you have to survive, you have to eat food, you have to sleep, so put a room, a roof under your head and get to school every day. And I don't care how you use it, but do those things. And 
so I had to really use budget and <sighs> grow up mostly, just grow up, meeting new people, learning with. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Um, I I I miss being happy because in college I was so stressed about, especially the second semester because I was. Uh, the first semester kind of, you know, kicked me in the ass, you can say. Because of course, all, all the French classes, I was, I was like, what, what do you say? What, what, what's going on? What's going on, mate? Oh, <laughs> what are you saying, dude? And the second semester, I said, hey, dude, if I want to prove, you gotta be an nerd. There's no other way around it. Just pay full attention, don't go out, go to the library. ASAP finishing classes and before classes being the library so just live in the library as much as you can if the library is open and you're not in classes and you're not in the library something is wrong so I just became a nerd and socially I just I died I died socially and I missed I miss being happy and look like waking up with a smile on my face because the last four months I was so miserable. I was waking up, I saw myself in the mirror, I didn't even smile, I didn't like the way I looked, didn't like the way I acted, didn't like nothing of myself. I missed my former self, my 2020, 2021 Daniel, 2020 Daniel, 2019 Daniel, I miss that guy. And right now it's coming back. So yeah, dude, be happy. And yeah, I'm gonna do YouTube videos every day. I want to. Every day of vacations, I'm gonna do YouTube video just to be happy again. And I hope to do interviews as well. I want to do a lot of interviews. I have a lot of things to share. And yeah, dude, vacations. Be happy, dude. Smile and yeah, go get it.